Hey everybody, Sean from SP Productions, back here with my winter beard and another video. Let's get to it. So today I'm really excited because not only is today going to be my first unboxing slash product review, but this is a prop I've been waiting for for a really long time. Wow, it's aside for now, so. So this is really pretty amazing. I mean, just initial impressions from opening the box. Colors look fantastic. All the little buttons and, and electronics you can see. Actually, I was really excited to get this. Uh, I've been a big fan of Quantum Leap for a long time. And for those of you who don't remember, uh, Quantum Leap was a hit show that was on NBC in kind of the late 80s, early 90s, the premise of which was a scientist named Dr. Sam Beckett was a time traveler who went back in time to embody other people and had an opportunity to correct something in their lives that went wrong. His only connection to the future was his guide, whose name was Al. And Al would use uh, this little prop here called the hand link. And this hand link would give Al all of the data to help guide Dr. Beckett on his mission. It would tell him who Dr. Beckett was uh, embodying, what year it was, and what they thought uh, he was there to correct. So this particular version of the hand link was the third iteration of the actual prop that was fondly referred to as the gummy bear. A mighty rock pile of gummy bears. And it was a pretty dramatic departure from the previous version of the hand link, which we'll actually talk more about in a future video. But I've been waiting for this for a long time, so let's actually uh, power it up and check it out. So this little blue switch over here is your power switch. So we'll slide it over. <laughs> oh, it's great. So, I mean, even just with the power on sequence, you see the... LEDs come to life, lighting up all the LED blocks around the prop, and you get the TV accurate sound effects of when the, the hand link actually gets powered up. So let's uh, bring back that little cheat sheet. So as you can see uh, throughout the prop, there are several uh, groups of buttons located. Each of the buttons have a uh, different function, which is called out here on the cheat sheet. So this first button is the imaging chamber door access. So for those who remember the show, Al was actually in a holographic chamber in the future, which they called the imaging chamber. And this is the exact sound that the door made uh, when Al opened and closed it. Uh, moving around to uh, the next set of buttons here, there's a data display rate set of buttons up here. And it looks like what these buttons do is actually cycle the LED sequence, uh, starting from a very slow kind of casual blinking pattern um, to a kind of increased speed uh, to a very frantic rate all the way up to uh, a total, just all the LEDs on. And I really think this is a really nice touch because on the show, uh, the LED, the original prop was actually programmed with this kind of varying LED sequence and the uh, producers would use it to uh, help give a sense of urgency in the scene. So for more casual scenes where Al and Sam are just conversing, you'd get kind of this slow LED sequence. Um, in some of the more tense situations, you'd actually see, uh, you know, uh, the hand link would be blinking pretty frantically. And there were a couple scenes where you actually saw on the show where I would guess that the prop had just kind of frozen, uh, where you would just get all the LEDs on at once. So really nice feature that you can toggle the LED flashing sequence to your liking. Uh, the next function here is called the temporal data navigation. And data query interfaces. <laughs> uh, that's just fantastic. It's... Um, So these buttons just appear to be the uh, kind of pips and squeaks that the hand link was known to have made. Um, I'm just smiling because they're they're just so well done. These uh, totally accurate recreations right from the show. So you can kind of create your own little sequence here. Great. 
And then the last uh, button here is called relocate to specified coordinates. So uh, another really great touch here. Uh, so Al being a hologram would, also, would often relocate himself in kind of a, an instantaneous flash where he would just kind of um, blink out of the scene. And this is the exact sound effects uh, that he would make. So uh, another really nice feature here uh, on the base of the handling prop, um, there's actually a recharge port, which is just a micro USB connector, uh, which powers rechargeable battery. Um, Rob over at Replica Props put his signature on there, so the RP, and then each of these replicas uh, was branded with a serial number. As you can see, this is number six. So um, I'm very fortunate to be in the very first run of these and uh, receive one of these props pretty early. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, um, I'm all smiles. I absolutely love this. I think uh, they nailed the size, uh, the laser cut acrylic colors look great and the electronics are just absolutely fantastic between you know the solution they came up with to address the fact that you can't get the actual led blocks anymore i think was very elegant uh the sound effects sound right from the show and all all the different buttons and functions and stuff you can do i mean this is what most folks would call the idealized version of a prop it's not 100 percent accurate to the actual prop that was used on the show because the actual prop didn't have any sound effects uh this is what if the prop really functioned as it did on the show would uh, likely have appeared as i think this was a great recreation again i'm, I'm just all smiles because i i absolutely love it uh, kudos to rob and morgan for a job really well done uh, i'm super happy with this and i'm very honored to be adding it to my collection so with that, I think we'll call this video a wrap. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you in the next one.